From Umbrago 13, we have introduced webhooks in the Umbrago CMS. Webhooks provide real-time event-driven communication within the Umbrago CMS. In this video, I'll show you how you can enable webhooks for your project and then use them whenever you create some new content. Cool, let's have a look together. Okay, as you can see, I'm here on my Umbrago project. To enable a webhook, you need to go to the settings section over here and go down to webhooks here. Click on webhooks and in here, you can create a new webhook. And down here, it's gonna show us the enabled webhooks. So let's go ahead and create a new webhook. And here we need to add a URL to call when the webhook is being triggered. For this, I'm using webhook.site where I can get a unique URL here to test out my webhook. So once you copy your URL, you add it here. You can of course use whatever program allows to display your webhooks. So you can use, you can display it in Slack or you can display it in Microsoft Teams, for example. So once the URL has been added, we can also add an event for which the webhook should be triggered. So it can be triggered when content is deleted, content is published, if some content is unpublished. If you're on Umbrago Cloud, you can also trigger the webhook when a deploy operation fails, if a deploy operation is completed, if some media is deleted, or if some media is saved. In this case, we're just gonna use content published. So click on it here and click submit. We can also decide if you only want to trigger the webhook for a specific content type. In this case, it can be my home node or my basic page here. I'm not going to choose any of them in this case. We can then click this enabled or disabled. In this case, let's enable it. And then we can also add some custom headers to include in the webhook request. By default, there are some default headers added to the webhook in, in the Umbrago series. So let's add a webhook header here. And in here, you can add a name. So accept, content type, user agent, content length. And then you can add the value of the header down below. I'm not going to add anything in this. So just close it down. And let's go ahead and save. And if you go back, we can see that our webhook has been successfully created. Now let's go to my content section and let's create a new content node and publish it. So let's create a new page here and let's call it page and a short text here. Hello world. And let's go ahead and save and publish my page. If we go back to webhook.site over here again and wait for a couple of seconds, we can see that my web webhook has been successfully triggered and then sent out this request here. We can see the default JSON payload down here and it shows the name, the create date, the update date, the route and its items below. We can see the ID, the content type and the properties as well. Awesome. In the webhooks section here, we can also see the deliveries from here as well. And we can see that the latest one has been successfully sent as well. Awesome. You've now seen how you can trigger webhooks in your Umbrago installation. That's all I have for you in this video. My name is Jonathan and I'll see you in the next one. Jonathan 